Okay, this video is going to tell you all the answers to the work you did with your partner yesterday. You're going to grade your work independently using earbuds or if you don't have earbuds, uh, watching without volume. Okay, so the first part is section A, recognizing parts of speech. We're going to match each definition with its part of speech. Number one, describes or modifies a noun or pronoun. Hmm. The part of speech that describes or modifies a noun or pronoun is D, adjective. Number two, related to emotions. The part of speech that is related to emotions is G, interjection. So when you're saying, oh, wow, those are emotions that you are exclaiming with an interjection. Number three, action or state of being. That is, of course, B, verb. Number four, modifies other words like verbs. That is E, adverb. Number five, connects other words. That's F, a conjunction. Number six, takes the place of a noun. A pronoun takes the place of a noun. Number seven, person, place, or thing. That's a noun, A. And number eight shows how a pronoun or noun and another word are related. That one is H, a preposition. Okay, for this section, use your notebook. You and your partner worked together yesterday to label each of these parts of speech. See how you did. For Sarah Bakes Cookies, we have Sarah, which is a noun. That's a person. Bakes is an action, so that's a verb. And cookies are a thing, so that's a noun. Number 10, this is the best birthday. This is a pronoun. Is is a verb. The is an article. Best is describing the kind of birthday, so it's an adjective. And birthday is a thing, so it's a noun. Okay, so for this part, I gave you all of these words that were supposed to fill in the blanks, and what you had to do was write down just each part of speech. So in third world countries, such as Swaziland and Haiti, countries is a thing, so it is a noun. A $15 invention is making a world of difference. Is is an action or state of being, in this case it's a state of being, which makes it a verb. No Caro, a company started by Brian Rance, sells lamps that do not require electricity. Electricity is a thing. These solar lamps have become a staple in countries in Africa and tent cities in Haiti. So solar is describing lamps. Lamps are a thing, so that's a noun. Solar are the kind of lamps. Describing a noun, that means it's an adjective. They provide light for reading and safety at night. At is a preposition. Nocaro has sold about 500,000 lamps in over 120 countries. About 500 lamps. Um, let's see, so about is describing, hmm, not the lamps, it's describing how many were sold. Sold is a verb. A word that describes a verb is an adverb. Rance says the demand for his product will only continue to increase. Says is an action, it's a verb. Most lamps found in poor countries require kerosene to run. Poor is describing countries, that means adjective, but kerosene causes accidents. Accidents, that's a thing. In fact, fires from kerosene are responsible for over a million deaths. Rance thinks his solar lamps could be the answer for developing countries. Developing countries, kind of country, kind of noun, that means adjective. All right, make sure you have all of these answers correct. Um, if you had two tallies, you need to fix two. If you have five tallies, fix five. When you know that they are all correct, turn in your parts of speech practice worksheet 
to the inbox.